This is a demo of a Gemini MX-8200 with Echo Stereo Audio Disco Mixer slash Equalizer. Um, basically, it was one of the first DJ mixers, early 80s. Note the fake wood paneling on the sides. It's actually particle board there. Um, I've done a lot of modifications to it. There's the standard DJ crossfader. You can go between channels uh, one and three for phono one and channels two and four. There's two mic inputs on it um, There's left and right graphic EQs, which can be really fun to play around with. There's Q for each channel um, There's phono and line inputs for each channel. I've modified it up here so that it has quarter inch inputs for synthesizers guitars whatever there uh, my favorite part of the whole unit is the bucket brigade delay analog echo which i modified to have even more feedback uh, and be longer the original master fader was kaput so i added this new red knob here to and labeled it as the master fader um, there's a phone's output, and without further ado, I've got a drum machine going through it, so we'll just go through all the functions real quick. Okay, so I'll start off with the equalizer. We got 1K boosted. Cool thing is you can easily pop it on and off. Okay, so that's that. I'll go through each individual channel and show you it's working. Um, I have to switch the. I'll go through and do the right channels independent. I'll just do the left channels first. So we got channel two, channel three. And channel four. Why are you not? Oh, it's on tape for some weird reason. So. Okay, and then the right output. There's also RCA in addition to the original stock RCA that I basically just tapped off of to get the quarter inch outputs. Okay, right channel, right channel right channel and right channel. Okay, so the best part, of course, is the um, analog delay. I'll slow down the beat a little bit. So the funny thing is the repeat, oh, there's also a, a direct delay only output uh, quarter inch jack right here. It was the only place that I could physically put it. So the where the repeat knob is, is actually what changes the delay time. Delay changes the amount of delay and balance kind of also changes the amount of delay. It's very strange. Anyway, repeat. And then I'll turn up the extra feedback. I accidentally wired up the pop backwards, so that's more feedback. And now we're almost self-oscillating here. It gets real fun when you do the EQ and the echo.
Oh, I'm going out of the left open. There we go. want kind of a dubby thing what you can do is take the balance up and it'll fade out okay and that's about it for this demo oh yeah the uh, talk switch whenever you engage that it automatically turn down turns down the program level by I don't know, 10 db or something Thanks for watching.